All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since uh, I uploaded. Um, I'm sorry about that. I was just handling some things and also in the midst of handling those things, my computer ended up breaking. Uh, so I couldn't really make any videos. But now we're back with the good start, especially in the new year. And today we're taking a look at the Deadpool from either Deadpool 1 or 2 by SH Figure Arts. The first thing we're going to get into is the accessories. So the accessories that uh, the SH Figure Arts Deadpool comes with are interchangeable eyes, interchangeable hands, two swords, a knife, a knife sheath, and a sheath knife, and also his sheath swords. Uh, for the hands, he has fisted hands, he has hands for holding the sword and a knife, which I recommend being careful with because these fingers, they're, they're molded in. And be careful with the swords because they are hard plastic. The other hands are thumbs up, pointing hands, hands that look like they can hold guns. We will try it later on. Hands for making a heart, relaxed hands, flat palms for putting it on his face, and wide open hands. Now that we went over the accessories, we're going to go over articulation. So starting at the head, his head doesn't really move that much. But with the neck, you can look up that far. Look down that far. side to side his arms go up that much come back down you can go all the way around he has bicep swivel double jointed elbows the wrists the regular SH figure words wrist articulation method For the torso, he can crunch forward that far, crunch backward only a little bit. For the legs, they kick out that far, they kick back even further, holy shit. They go out, uh, but if you wanted to go further, I say put this down and yeah. Thigh swivel, double jointed knees, ankle rocker, and ankle pivot. Now for the design, uh, the design is almost accurate to the movie. Uh, so far, the only thing I can spot that's inaccurate as far as the design are the two little holes or dots that you see on Deadpool's chest in both movies. I'm gonna put it right there. Yeah, so he doesn't have those, but anything else? Uh, everything else looks like it's good, minus the gun holsters. And about the gun holsters, I'm pretty sure these are here for a reason, these holes. So maybe eventually someone will uh, either 3D print or sculpt holsters and probably sell them. I might do it once my 3D printer comes in and uh, I'll keep you guys updated on my Instagram about that. Now for Switching the hands out, as you can see, you just pull it off. And now we're gonna test whether or not they can actually hold guns. So we're gonna try out a few different guns from pistols to submachine guns and assault rifles.
Oops. Yeah, it's probably best that I take these off. So, first thing we're going to test are a variety of different pistols that I have. So, we're going to start first with these that I got off eBay. These are Desert Eagles, made to fit Marvel Legends hands. And voila. To me, they work, but they feel a little bit too big to my liking. But if they work for you and you want them to have much larger pistols like Desert Eagles are, uh, I say go for it. Uh, next, we're going to try what I believe is a Glock 19. Also from eBay. And to me, it seems that if it's good. My only problem is this little back part right here. A little bit over where it should be. Uh, we're going to try a 1911. It looks good on this side. Looks good on this side. I think this one works the best to me. And we're going to try. I don't know the specific model of this pistol, but this one has a laser. I use these for my Black Widow. Uh, it doesn't really fit very loose. And for this last pistol we're gonna try, we're gonna try this one. This one comes with the SH for yours body chan. I did paint these, but the paint started coming off over time. Uh, to me, these actually work very well. If I had to pick, I would either pick these or the 1911s. Okay. Now we're going to move on to submachine guns. So, the first one we have is what I believe is a QQ9. We're going to switch hands this time. That way it's a fair fit so it wasn't warped. And uh, it seems to work well. The fingers fit inside the trigger holes behind the trigger guards. Uh, that one's good. Next, we're gonna try my uh, Mac 10s, which I have bought them off of Gun Runners from Marauder. And these also fit very well. Oh, my bad. I forgot uh, one pistol. The pistol that comes with the amazing Yamaguchi Rebel Tech Deadpool. This one is also on the big side, but it still fits. And now for the final weapons. We're going to try to do assault rifles. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a Scar H. And we're going to see if he can fit it. Looks like it fits. Can he hold it like one? That's the question. It 
Oops. Uh, seems that he can. Uh, the next... Oh, by the way, I also got this off of uh, Marauders. Uh, the next assault rifle we're going to do is... I believe this is a M16. This is from Eric Killmonger from Marvel Legends. Same thing, it fits. And next we have a MP5. Uh, you can't really hold this one because this one is a bit bulky. But I did get this off eBay. Uh, next we have in a customized M4 with the four grip and he can hold this as well and I probably shouldn't try this but I have a shotgun from action figures from the core which is a three and three quarter inch figure line. And uh, this one works as well. And now that we're done looking at guns, we're gonna get into scale. Okay, so we have four lines that we're gonna scale them with. And that is the DC Multiverse line. Marvel Legends, Mafex, and another SH Figure Wars figure. So, first one we're going to scale with is the DC Multiverse Shazam. As you can see, towers over him. Uh, next we're going to scale him with the SH Figure Arts Iron Man Mark 50. One second. I haven't touched this figure in a while. And they're roughly the same height. Next, we're going to scale them next to Civil War Captain America. And uh, Captain America appears to be taller, as expected. And our last scale, I'm going to scale them next to a Mafex Amazing Spider Man 2 Spider Man figure. And as not expected, the Mafex is taller. Now, overall, the scaling can change depending on the character. So, with that being said, that is the end of this review. And stay tuned for my actual rating. Now, overall... I say this is a pretty good figure, worth the money. Uh, my only issues are the hands that hold the swords and the knives. Not necessarily for the knife portion, but for the swords. Because the swords, 
like I said earlier, they're hard plastic. And it can get scary. That's why uh, I recommend heating up every part of the figure. But uh, as far as design, I give it 9 out of 10 only because it's missing those two accurate dots that's on the chest. Uh, articulation, I would give it, mm, let's say, uh, an 8 out of 10. Only because of the waist area and the head area. Head doesn't really have that much articulation as it should for an SH figure arts. But then again, that's fine by me because it still works as far as stop motion wise. Uh, for the scale, I wish it could be a bit larger, so I might give that an 8 out of 10, but that's just my opinion. But uh, for accessories, Deadpool not having guns, that kind of bummed me out, but luckily I had some on hand. So I'm going to have to give that a 7 out of 10. And uh, my overall opinion, this figure is great. Uh, despite the minor issues that it has, I feel like it does very well and it's worth the money. But uh, my overall grade for this figure it would be a solid, maybe not even a solid. My opinion will change later on. But uh, for now, I might have to get it either an 8.5 or a 9 out of 10. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching this video and thank you for welcoming me back, welcoming me back to YouTube. Maybe not. Please don't yell at me about the other thing as well. But uh, enjoy these photos that I took afterwards. Thanks for watching.